Hi guys and welcome to Exciting Time with Johnny. I'm Johnny and today I'm going to read another book called 14 Cats for America. I might not know all the lyrics and I mean I might not know all these words in the book because they are a few in another language so if you know just say it there at home even if I can't hear you. It is illustrated by Thomas Gonzalez. Let's get going. 14 Cats for America. The remote village waits for a story to be told. New travelers slowly to this to this corner of Kenya. As Camille nears the village, she watches a herd of bull giraffes cross the open grassland. He smiles. He has been away for a long time. A girl sitting under a guava tree sees him first and cries out to the others. The children run to him with the speed of grace of cheetahs. He greets them with a gentle touch on the head, a warrior's blessing. The rest of the tribe soon surrounds Kimile. These are his people. These are the Maasai. Once they were feared warriors. Now they live peaceably as nomadic castle herders. They treat their cows as kindly as they do to their children. They sing to them. They give them names. They shelter the young ones in their homes. Without the herd, the tribe might starve. To the Maasai, the cow is life. Supa, hello. Kimeli hears again and again. Everyone wants to greet him. His eyes find his mother across the Nkang, the ring of hunts of huts with their roofs of sun-baked dung. She spreads her arms and calls to him. Aqua, welcome, my son. Kimeli sighs. He is home. This is sweeter and sadder because he cannot stay. He must return to the faraway country where he is learning to be a doctor. He thinks of New York then. He remembers September. It's a big book, right? So, sorry to fit all the pictures in. A child asks if he has brought any stories. Kameli nods. He has brought with him one story. It has burned a hole in his heart. But first he must speak with the elders. Later, in a tradition, as old as the Maasai, the rest of the tribe gathers under the Akisa, under to hear the story. There is a terrible stillness in the air as the tale unfolds. With growing disbelief, men, women, and children listen. Buildings so tall they can touch the sky, fire so hot they can melt iron, smoke and dust so thick. They can block out the sun. The story ends. More than 3,000 souls are lost. A great silence falls over the Maasai. Kimeli waits. He knows his people. They are fierce when provoked, but easily moved to kindness when they hear suffering or injustice. At 
last, an elder speaks. He is shaken. But above all, he is sad. What can he do for these poor people? Nearby, a cow lows. Heads turn toward the herd. To the Maasai, Kimeli say softly, "The cow is life." Turning to the elders, Kameli offers his only cow, and Karus. He asks for the for their blessing. They give it gladly, but they want to offer something more. The tribe sends word to the United States embassy in. Nairobi. In response, the embassy and sends a dimpolent. His jeep jounces along the dusty, rugged roads. He is hot and tired. He thinks he is going to meet the Maasai elders. He cannot be more wrong. As the jeep nears the edge of the village, the man sits up. Clearly. This is no ordinary diplomatic visit. This is drumroll, please. A ceremony. Hundreds of Maasai meet the American in full tribal splendor. At the sight of the brilliant blood red tunics and spectacular bedded colors. He can only marvel. It is a day of scared brutal. Young warriors dance, leaping into the air like fish from a stream. Women sing mournful songs. Children fill their bellies with milk. Speeches are enchanted, and now it is time. Kameli and his people gather on a scared knoll, far from the village. The only sound is the gentle chiming of cowbells. The elders chant a blessing in Ma. As the Maasai people of Kenya present, drumroll please. Fourteen cows of America. Because there is no nation so powerful it cannot be wounded, nor a people so small they cannot offer mighty comfort. And you know it's time. It is time to finish. Fourteen Cows of America. That was the book Fourteen Cows of America, illustrated by Thomas Gonzalez. I hope you guys like this book, and if you guys want more fun books and for me to go to more exciting places, and we have three slimes to go over in one video today, so stay tuned for that later. I'll see you guys in my next video, and make sure to tell family members and friends to subscribe, give likes, and stay tuned for more exciting videos like read alouds and me going to fun places and more. See you guys later. Bye.